upholster or complete the reupholstering of my caravan seating air, um, cushions. That is, these are the backrests, and I've also got below that the the seats themselves. Now, I recovered them myself using a chenille fabric that had been um, fireproofed, so that it meets the regulations. But I did want to finish it off by putting in the self um, covered, so self coloured buttons as well. And because you use the reverse to sleep on, I didn't want buttons on that side as well. It's, it's, I mean, you shouldn't be able to feel these, but they're not necessarily comfortable to lie on. So the reverse of caravan um, pads or, or mattresses tend to be these, these types of tapes. They're called um, tape backs for tape back buttons. So these buttons have a little hole in the, on the reverse side and you put the short end of the tape in there, like so, and you buy the right length tape so that you can shoot that through your mattress. Now, I know that this mattress is about 10 centimeters deep and these tapes are nine centimeters in total. So you get a slight depression, as you can see here, I've done one earlier. Um, the tape back button needle, it's an upholstery needle, but it's specifically for these tape backs the needle is much like any other upholstery needle. It's got three um, it's got three edges on it, so it does cut and it is very sharp. Be careful. But at this end, it becomes hollow from about here on un uh, onwards, and it ta has a slot designed to take you lie the, your tape back in there and you hold it like that when you're about to push it through the whole way. There are other needles for when. Okay, so this particular needle is specifically, it's a 12 inch one, and because I'm using it on, um, on a mattress that's only 10 centimeters deep, I've got about that much needle to play with once it comes out to the other side. Now, tape backs like these are ideal for when you have got blind upholstery. So imagine an armchair which, or a Chesterfield, which has, um, it has tapes at the front, uh, sorry, buttons at the front, but it doesn't have anything coming out the back. So in other words, it has backing fabric which matches your your front fabric. You don't want to pull the needle all the way through and damage that back fabric. So you get needles also that you the tape is set, sat in here and then you have a, a plunger that releases the button and the tape st stays in there with, with a little catch. But in this case, I'm going all the way through and then I'm going to um, put the, 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 the tape in there and I'm going to pull it through finally. It's quite tricky. So what I've done is I've marked the places where I'm going to put the buttons and I'm going to line up, make sure that it's lined up. And I tend to rotate it a little bit just because I don't really want to pierce the fabric. It's a chenille. It's, it's not a particularly tight weave. And I'm going to feel for the needle coming out through the other side. Like I say, because it's a, it's, it's a hollow needle and at the top part, it becomes quite a tricky one to use. Upholstery needles with where you have a, a, an eye for threading your yarn can be a lot um, thinner. So this is me now ready to put in the button, the tape back for the button, before that slot goes into the, into the foam. So there we go. I'm going to load that in there. And now with some brute force, I'm going to pull that through to the other side. Question is always, why does this needle not have a handle? And the reason it doesn't is because <laughs> it's thick enough at this hollow end. Pardon me while I just <clears throat> brutalize this cushion. So the last section you've got to give a little bit of tension and then flip it up and that's it shot through so that's the needle released or the needle has released the the back so that is how you use these tape back buttons and that's the button i've just done so it's just enough to give it the impression of of having been done professionally <laughs> i'm by no means a professional but these needles are not cheap um, this one was seventy-four fifty, um, and they can go up to about two hundred. 
but absolutely invaluable. There's no 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 needing to ha tie off buttons or anything. The tape back does all the work for you, and it's very nice and strong. So it is it is ideal for for the for the purpose of of doing this type of work on caravan padding or seating. Another thing I should point out is that because I've marked the holes where where I'm, you know, my entry points here, um, I'm actually encountering very little resistance from the 10 centimeters of foam. And that is because obviously this particular um, pad already had tape back buttons on it. So I'm trying to find the holes as I go through and I'm fairly certain that with almost all of them, I have found exactly where the hole is. So for me, it might be slightly easier than it is for somebody who is starting afresh and is actually, um, see how easy that's going in. Hardly any effort on my part. Um, again, I'm loading it. I'm making sure that it goes to the point where it, it this cannot slip out anymore. Then I'm flipping it, if I can. And then I'm pulling the needle out. So I'm encountering very little resistance simply because I'm mostly going into existing holes, but it's still hot work. So there you are.